A deeper dive tonight into the exclusive police body cam video regarding eight passengers YouTuber Ruby Frankie. Thanks for joining us for Two News at 5 o'clock tonight. I'm Mark Cavell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. Last night, a policing expert raised some concerns over what he saw tonight. A criminal defense attorney echoing those same concerns. Ariel Harrison tracking that story last night and joins us live right now. Well, Mark Heidi, anytime there's concern over a child's safety, it is typical that we see law enforcement act quickly. In this instance, St. George police looking for Frankie's kids thought that they might be at a Utah County home, that being a pan botcher. Uh, that is why they enlisted Springville and American Fork police to help look for those children. In some of the fog of the moment, though, as you see in the body cam footage, the defense I, attorney I had watched that video back with me um, stated that it could have amounted to what she called an illegal arrest. We start answering questions now without having counsel present, and they stop answering questions at any time. So should I make sure I have an attorney on it? I don't even know what I'm in trouble for. Police body cam footage from August 30th shows American Fork woman Pam Botcher being read her Miranda rights nearly 50 minutes after she was handcuffed, locked in a police car, and questioned. If officers are misinformed, which happens sometimes, if officers are ill-prepared for what's going on, they make mistakes. Former Deputy Police Chief Chris Bertram raising concerns when I showed him the video Wednesday. Your take on what we just watched? I think this is really problematic the way this was executed uh, from, a, from any standpoint, but certainly from a defense standpoint. Criminal defense attorney Sky Lazaro is not connected to this case. I asked her to watch the body cam video as well. One focus area when police place Botcher in custody. They have a warrant from my house. Specifically uh, for, for you. For the, yeah, for you and the child. Yeah. That's American Fork Police assisting on behalf of Springville and St. George departments at the Botcher home. Pam told police she picked up Ruby Frankie's daughters because Frankie asked her to. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'll explain to you that I'll explain to you. What are you guys doing? According to Lazaro, this would have been the opportune moment for officers to read Pam her rights. Still. I've explained this already. I'm being as courteous as I can. Okay, okay. well, I'm going to call an attorney. People That's have to know what their constitutional rights are before they're interrogated by the police so that they can choose to either cooperate and, you know, people can waive their Miranda rights and then answer any questions um, but she needs to know that she's entitled to an attorney she needs to know that she has the right to remain silent that she doesn't have to say anything to him other than I want a lawyer it, in my opinion you know I from a criminal defense standpoint in an Ill illegal arrest Now, it is our understanding police never had an arrest warrant for Pam. That warrant was simply to get those children into state custody safely. Lazaro, that a defense attorney, she says she advises her clients to cooperate with police always, but also know your rights. That includes not having to speak with police and to having an attorney present if that's needed. Reporting live in downtown, Ariel Harrison, KUTV2 News.